Middle East, where tens of thousands of Iraqis and Syrians have been chased from their homes by ISIS terrorists, many of them Christians who've been specifically targeted. Now there's a new effort underway in Washington to protect those religious minorities. One of the men leading the charge, Mark Abado, a, a human rights activist and spokesman for Iraqi Christians living in California. Mark, good to see you. Great to see you. Thank you. You met with the Prime Minister of Iraq and President Obama's advisor, Ben Rhodes. Right. Do you feel these Christian minorities haven't gotten enough attention? We do feel the Christian minority community is being squeezed, is being threatened. They're facing a Christian holocaust, and we need to do more to protect them and save them. Well, what exactly are they facing, Mark? They're still homeless. They haven't been in their homes for 10 months. They're dying in camps. Last year, 12,500 folks have died in Iraq alone. And we need to do more as a nation. We need to do more as a country. We're trying to push Congress and the White House to do more, and we have a lot of options on the table. You know, one of the options is uh, you're calling for the passage of H.R. 1568. What does right. it do, and what's been the reception on Capitol Hill, Mark? Well, what it does, it reinstates and expedites processing for religious minorities, including the women and the elderly. My message to Congress is clear. If they do not pass this bill, then they're sentencing my people to death, and they will be enabling ISIS. This is a Christian holocaust for religious minorities in the Middle East. We had a great meeting with Ben Rhodes and his team yesterday, and we're very hopeful that the president will do some executive action soon. But we're doing everything we can in the international community to save every single life that's possible. Mark, you know, and there are other groups around the world, unfortunately, that are being persecuted. Mm -hmm. You know, right. how, should they also be getting this kind of, of treatment? I mean, why specifically the people you're concerned about? Sure. The uniqueness of the Iraqi Christians is this is the one type of community, the Chaldeans, that, that faced their in extinction. Also in Iraq, we broke it as far as not protecting religious minorities from the 2003 war. So like Colin Powell says, if we broke it, we own it. We need to fix it. We need to right our wrong in the past. People are just asking to be rescued and saved. It's an easy decision. It's a Christian holocaust. We must do more as a nation. And Mark, you know, you're talking about 12,500 deaths, but there are right. millions and millions of people that have been displaced that are suffering horrible fates right now. Mm -hmm. It is. 160,000 are displaced from their homes, begging to be rescued. Uh, there's no safe haven for Christianity in Iraq, and we need to do more. We could do more with passage of H.R. 1568. We're hoping President Obama does some executive action soon. We could change their processing to match Cuba, do in-country processing. We need to do everything we can. It is a Christian genocide, and uh, we owe it to our nation, to our founders, to do more. Mark Arabo, thank you for being with me. I'll thank see you, you soon. Thank you so much. Hey, YouTube fans. I am Ayman Mohideen from MSNBC. Thanks for checking out our channel. Subscribe to our channel by clicking right here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives.